What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about the return of even more Year 1 Legendary Weapons. Now we know this is more or less confirmed due to the fact of seeing and using the 77 Wizard Fusion Rifle when being invited out to Gamescom to play the Rise of Iron early. I'm guessing like with the April update this year we will see a whole host of old weapons brought back into the rotation of possible rewards from packages. As it stands at the moment, Vanguard and Crucible packages are the only place you can obtain this year 1 classics. Now whether with the Rise of Iron they introduce this with faction packages is yet known, but that would be absolutely epic. I mean I would love the chance to get the Vanquisher from New Monarchy as I could never land myself one with decent roll back in the day. Now on screen now is the little footage I had of the year 1 weapons from the Vanguard and Crucible Quartermasters. There were plenty of other weapons which are not featured within this video. Video, but you can find them somewhere or another on the internet. When watching and seeing these old school weapons, I don't know if I miss the old school vanilla and year one days. I mean, I wish I could go back in time and play that shit again because the game you guys are playing, especially you year two folks, you don't know how good year one was. Also, seeing these weapons, damn, there were some beasts back then that would absolutely wreck in PvP nowadays, like the Bad Sea Dan, the Do Gooder, and a few of them old school hand cannons. My question to all you year one people is. If there's a single weapon you could bring forward to year 3 from Vanguard or Crucible, what would that weapon be? I have a few gems which I've kept from that year 1 still to this day and it's these weapons I would love to return. Let's take a look at them. First up we have this beast, the Serial Point LOTP. I got this thing with a decent roll for PvP as well. To be honest I may take this back into PvP and see how it does today. Next up we have this animal, the three little words. This thing was basically a messenger for those who remember that weapon and was capable of two birds killing opponents in PvP so so easily. As far as I know there's only one two birds kill pulse rifle from year 2 and that's a Lewid Miller obtainable from the gunsmith which I have made a video on. But back in the day there were so many, there was the hopscotch, the messenger, the three little words and I'm sure a couple more. Getting your hands on a 2 burst kill pulse rifle back in the day was a lot lot easier than what it is now. Next up we have my favourite auto rifle ever, the Lowdown P14, a weapon I recently made a video on. This thing still to this day wrecks in PvP and I did land myself a great roll on this or whether or not I reforged it I can't really remember. Either way I will keep this thing forever. Hopefully it will make a return one day. Next up is a weapon I'm sure many of you will remember. The For The People. This was one of only a few weapons people still used in PvP when auto rifles were at their lowest point of being complete shit. If you landed this with a decent roll, man it would tear shit up. Mine wasn't too bad. As soon as it dropped, I knew it was an instant keeper. Finally we have my 1-2-3 Scissor G. Easily my favourite PvP weapon of all time. This thing is basically an old school grasper manic, but in my opinion much much better. I still to this day use it and do great with it in PvP and my role is pretty horrid. But if this thing did make a return I would be absolutely over the moon. Landing this with a perfect roll would be epic and if you were lucky enough to do so, fair play. If you still have it, I'd take my hat off to you as I'm absolutely jealous. If I had a choice of bringing back only one of these year 1 weapons, the 1-2-3 strategy would be the weapon that I'd choose 100%. Hopefully when they incorporate old weapons within the Rise of Iron, this is one of them. And we see more of them than what we did from April's update. But yes guys, let me know down below in that comment section what year 1 weapon you would bring back. As like I said, it's pretty much confirmed after seeing the 77 wizard within the Rise of Iron that year 1 weapons will again make a return. But what bunch you have got planned to return to us, we have no idea yet. But like I said, let me know what you want to see down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace.